Alrighty, Clock Studios theme park, here we come, baby! What a lovely establishment. Wow. Beautiful. What's going Beautiful. On? Why can't anyone go? Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when uh. they're tracking down suspects. Ooh, this lady back here looks real fancy. Um, can you convince them to let us in? It's pretty impressive even from out here. Yeah, can you convince us we to let in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention oh. inside. We can just talk here. But how am I supposed to enjoy the theme park if we can't go in? Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. I wanted to ride the rides, though. View here is great, right? We can see everything from here. Yeah, it'd be better on the roller coasters, but okay. Including Clocky. Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, mm. then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. That would make sense since he's a, a clock and stuff. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Mm. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war Ooh. and sided with Astana? Ooh. It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, hmm. even visitors from beyond the sky. Dang. In the end, they emerged victorious. Ooh, dude, there's so much lore in this one. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. Ka. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. Okay. So maybe he inherited the title. Yeah, that makes sense, an inherited title, yeah. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Like 500. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I'm 13. 13? <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Uh, no way. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. Mm. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. Okay. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its uh, name and glory. Okay, got it. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so mm. that means you... No. Oh, okay. I'm not his companion. Oh! But rather one of his many children. Interesting. But I am indeed a traitor. Ooh. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. Oh my goodness, this plot, pl this plot is thick as gravy, bro. I can't talk. <laughs> what did you do? <sighs> uh, I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. In what way? Just like you, I had close companions. Okay. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone, but the Oak family, Kay. they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. Oh. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. Okay, so I guess Mikhail and Misha maybe are two different people. I just remember like in the first part of Penacone, like the, like the very first section, there was a moment where, like, like the traveler was, you know, wigging out or something, and then I, there was like Mikhail, Mikhail, like there was a voice calling, and like I think like then we saw Misha, so I just thought that Misha is Mikhail, and like maybe he still is, maybe like Mikhail like passed down that name to him or something like that. Well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name, and but world. now I'm questioning myself. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. Okay. We intended to find the real traitor. The one responsible for all this and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Mm. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become mm. deeply yeah. corrupted. Yep. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up like a lost dog. Mm. The family accepted me and made me an officer, 
supposedly as a form of forgiveness. Ah, uh, okay. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail. Yeah, what about Mikhail? I heard he died in obscurity. Hmm, okay. In a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. I feel like at that point, at this point, rather, I feel like at this point, Penacone just needs to collapse, man. It, it just it just needs to, like, disintegrate, and then maybe we re rebuild it, but... We're truly sorry for what happened. I don't know if there's any going back but at this, this point. this is not the end of the story, right? Mm-hmm. I also feel like I need to take notes, dude. Like, oh my god, there's so much lore that's happening. Like I said, I low-key thought that Misha was Mikhail, but now I'm like, is he? I don't even know. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Okay. Or is it, Misha? Um, who could that person be? Is the Watchmaker an organization? Yeah, or is it like a whole organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. All right. Unfortunately, after all these years, uh, I okay. have no idea who that person is or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Fair enough. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the oh. Watchmaker's legacy. Interesting. At the end of all these mysteries. I guess one question I have is like, where? what happens when you die? You know, because, okay, because Aventurine said he tested it and that they sh they don't die. They don't really die. So what happens when you die? Because, like, Firefly, like, disappeared, right? Like, she turned into the watery goop? Like, but what happened to her? Where does she go? Like, where does her consciousness go? We will find the answers we are seeking. Cap. If it really hmm. is Mikhail's ghost, hmm. I will meet him. If only for the last time. Cap. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Well, thank you. We appreciate thank that. Thank you for listening to this old dog. You're welcome. Bark and all. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Huh? Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to ride the Ferris wheel with Gallagher. Oh, well, ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several mm -hmm. amber eras ago? Yep, true. Fair enough. Actually, a very fair point. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. Seems like a lot of people in Penacone, too. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker. Yup. His connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Ah, uh, and that the family isn't all united. Exactly. Mm hmm Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Yeah. Uh, and that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? <laughs> He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Listen, okay? Clocky is my Oshi, alright? Speaking of which... That Clocky, who only reveals himself to you, is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Yeah, where's Clocky at, man? Uh, that pretty much sums now it up, I guess. confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Uh, ask about Welt's situation? Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How is progress going on in your end? Not too bad, the Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something important, or something extremely important. Uh, we're now headed to Dulight Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't Aventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side, alright? 
good stuff. Don't worry, please wait for a while. Um, I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. I mean, in fairness, Aventurine was not wrong. She is dangerous. It's just that I don't think she wants to murder us. So that's good. <laughs> but she will F you up if she wants to. Let that be known. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Mm. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Noise. Looks like we're about to enter the depths oh. of Doolight Pavilion. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded man. Oh, I'm excited for this. I feel like we're about to get saucy. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. <gasps> oh, she is... So oh my gosh, I get to try her? Oh my god, she is so beautiful. Beyond good and evil. Oh my... Wow, what a woman. Okay. Anyways. Any who's ears. I'm just looking around at everything. Cool. Looking good. We got the birds. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant Yeah, inside. where is everybody? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Perhaps. Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. But yeah, it still seems a little too Just quiet. Acheron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. <sighs> White. Bated breath. I've made myself less noticeable. Okay. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but mm. I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. Yeah, um, that's a pretty cool technique. Dang. Technique. I like that. It's like her existence sort of fades. Uh, during exploration, using Acheron's technique to attack normal en enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. When not hitting enemies, no technique points are consumed. Great. Stream four. Boom. Oh, crap. I, uh, uh, I didn't miss. I, I, you didn't see anything. You, you, you guys, you saw nothing. I did not Another miss that. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 uh, that blah, 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 um, I did that on purpose because I wanted to play Acheron. I wanted to see her in action, naturally, uh-huh. So anyways, here's what we do, and then this, this is what we do next, so we're going to go crazy. Oh, 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 this is fun though, this is fun though, oh my god. I love that. Oh my god, that was really cool. Okay. Uh, oh, let's get these things. Boop. Great. Go deeper into the Dewlight Pavilion and look for clues. The model in the sand pit. Um, it's I guess we have to go this way. Isn't it? Maybe so we're going the same way that we went earlier with Aventurine. Uh, there were definitely not this many enemies here earlier. I will say that much. Looks like outsiders might have passed. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Cool. Don't get complacent. Mm, <laughs> cool. The Break them. Nice. That's Good stuff. Your end of we'll this. And we'll do Repent. Thank you, Lucha. And we'll do this. Yes. Smack I that guy. You. Uh, smack this guy. I'll see you off. Smack this guy. Free will, or was it fate? Destiny. Ba -da -ba -bum. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. You know what I'm gonna do? I weep for the departed. This one. Bow. Bow. Boing. Oh, that's so cool. That's so for the animation's sick, dude. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. Okay, slap that. Smack that. Stream four. Got him. Got him. Um. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. There's a dinosaur though. Set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Uh oh oh I was gonna, okay I was Don't gonna smack him but uh, I didn't get the chance to. <laughs> I did not get the world. opportunity. Creation. That's all right. <laughs> It's all right, because we're going to F him up with this, with this move right here. 
And then guess what we get I to do? For the departed. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Crazy, dude. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool animation. That's so fun to play. Hit him with a little bit of bladey. Blade sauce. Nice. Quick divination. Mm. Boom! You chose the wrong. You chose the wrong enemy, baby. Check out Milady. Check out Milady. Oh, for some reason I just kind of just assumed she was gonna one-shot him, but that's not what happened. Okay. All right. Duly noted. Duly noted. Now I know. Oh, uh, let's hit you with this then, because you got that big thick shield on. And hit him with a little bit of that. <laughs> nice. Uh, just gonna try to break the shield as fast as possible. Still waters of a -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> nice. Feels good, man. Feels good, mate. Receive divinity. Thank Don't you. Worry. It's just a scrape. And that. And this Eternal one. Sleep. Break them. Break them, Locha. Break them. Beautiful. That's half the work. Beautiful, incredible. Just Die. For oblivion. Oh. Oh. Oh, not quite. Right here. Nice. There we go. Look, it dropped something. Hmm? A note. Oh. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Huh. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks. Oh. Before Robin's death. Well, that's interesting. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. Ah, uh, okay. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? It does seem that way. Yeah, but I don't know why. Huh. Interesting. Okay. No one here either. Huh. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Sure, might as well. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Ooh, list of death's victims. Ooh, okay. And Soral, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from Zhangzhou, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examination showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. It's, uh, or note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible. Imaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of... Damn, there's a lot of freaking victims of Scorch Sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage of that episode of the show has been deleted. Note the culprit is swift and skilled in disguises. Caution is advised. Weber, a male Papeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Note, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals, uncertain Maybe, uh, maybe taking orders from someone else. Shemet, a male Pepeshi, uh, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Note, flipping a card, interesting. Um, Deckham, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but not entangled, uh, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. Note, most cases are related to the ocean could this be a breakthrough additional note scratch that after checking only two cases were related to the ocean uh kaikya a female foxian was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in golden hour the incident caused a huge commotion at the spot the memories of most witnesses have been processed note could it be the sweet dream troop does it have the ability to imitate and learn multiple culprits there is likely a mastermind behind the scenes um Kambega, a male bloodhound goodness there's a lot of victims jesus christ was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift change in the moment of serenity 
resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. Note, no notable details in the case. Need to ask the Bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film mystery gallery at the museum in the moment of soul. She was drawn toward a mystery mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen vanishing without a trace the site has been cordoned off uh note this is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim monk a male in teletron was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk oh my god i hope all the notes aren't this long note vision sensor noteworthy um, Annette, a female Papeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the Moment of Soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror, uh, disappeared, uh, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Note, mirror noteworthy, uh, current hypothesis related to sight. Chloe, a female in Teletron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. I've never read this fast in my life. More attacks occurred in dark or dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Carissa, a female Hellovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorch Sand and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family was apprehended or has apprehended the fan. Abducted, keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a human male, a male human, uh, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Taking a nap plus consuming consider discussing with the alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Um, Marlo, a male human, disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the uh, scene of the accident. This is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. Um, this list compromises over a hundred or comprises over a hundred cases related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. Okay, interesting. I guess we'll just look through them. So we had car accidents. Uh, we had hiding under a chair. Harassed by a fervent fan. Blew out the candles or birthdays. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to see a pattern. They're all so random. It's not like everyone was in a bad situation when it happened. You know, just doing makeup in the bathroom. Huh. Information all right. about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. Hmm. I don't see any commonalities. Enough. Yeah, I don't see any commonalities either. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random mm -hmm. victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Yeah, that's a lot of victims. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Huh. Fascinating. Okay. What about this, this light cone. Oh. It's securely guarded. <laughs> it must hold some important memories. Baby Sunday is so cute. Uh, and is that, that's raw. Aww. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite uh -huh. was a, well, a sweet. pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Well, ain't that wholesome. I wonder how their relationship is now. Ah, uh, probably not great since Robin's like dead, you know, haha. <laughs> Growing up brings gains, but also losses. I do wonder, I mean, I, again, it seems like Robin's probably not dead dead, but like, I, want, I do wonder what their relationship is like. Cause this, I mean, this is very wholesome, but like, what's their relationship like now, you know? Like, or yeah. before she quote unquote Time died. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth. Mm. Will eventually fade away. Yeah. Because I mean, when we saw him after her quote-unquote death, he didn't seem like he wasn't like distraught or anything. Like he wasn't crying. But what? Did, how did he actually feel about it? Again, it seems like she's not actually dead. Does he know that she's not actually dead? Like, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions when it comes to Sunday and Robin and their relationship, and also just Sunday in general. Okay, a letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. That's right, because d d what didn't Robin? Robin was like returning to Panacone, right? So 
Yeah, I wonder what their relationship was like. Um, since my return to Penicone, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. Interesting. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Penicone is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. Ooh, dang. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Penicone, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. Our promise, huh? Okay. I wonder what exactly the promise is. Ha has that been mentioned before? There's like so, so much has happened on Penicone that I feel like there are some things that I'm probably forgetting or missing. I don't remember if this promise has been mentioned, but I would like to know more about it. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. I wonder if she got killed off? or like killed, quote unquote. I wonder if she got killed because she was investigating or is it just because of like her role in the Charmony Festival? Because it sounds like they were trying to sabotage her even before they killed her, but did they know that she was investigating? Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend more time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties um, from other galaxies. Jantmoa pudding tarts from Moralons, wild strawberries from Akonyaku, Yako, Akonyaku, uh, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy, and almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Um, don't forget to enjoy them. May Jipe be with us. I feel like I always say this word wrong. I always forget how they pronounce it. Your sister, Robin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penicone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. Okay. I remember hearing something yep. unusual in her mm. voice. And now it seems I was right. Interesting. Robin okay. believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. And yeah, okay, I guess that's another question that I'm thinking of now is like, was Robin specifically targeted? Like, were they specifically targeting her voice or like, is it just the effect of the harmony being tampered with? Like, why were they tampering with the harmony? Was it to affect her voice? A lot of questions. It sounds like probably, it sounds like it's more more that the harmony itself was tampered with and that had a, in, like indirectly affected Robin. Okay. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family... That person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's check this out. Uh, a letter from Alfalfa. To Sunday, I've been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penicone. As Penicone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Um, such action does not serve the best interest interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments um, from other family heads. Interesting that Alfalfa doesn't want 
uh, Sunday snooping around uh, with with death. Um, while you are convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker, I have met that watchmaker many times um, long before the dream master adopted you. Oh, adopted you. Okay, and your sister. And I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone meme. Okay, that's like, okay, he sounds like he's, this is basically him saying, I inv we investigated ourselves and we found nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got from that. Um, now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the big picture, the bigger picture. Um, it is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences of Dominicus's arrival, if Dominicus's arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family. Focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling their matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes, but then I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Oh, you're sincerely old OT. Bro, could we not have, like, left a voicemail or something for some of these? I, oh my goodness. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old OT is happy with Sunday's recent performance. It does seem that way. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and yeah. the Watchmaker. Yeah. Interesting. You'd think that it would actually be like in everyone's best interest to investigate death because there have been so many cases. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family and everybody has their own agenda. Okay. Last one. Please don't be long, man. Please don't be long. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my goodness, please. Oh, oh my god, my ADHD can't handle all this reading. Unmedicated. Okay, <clears throat> esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all the suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully, yours, um, Esme Drotz. Okay. Attachment. Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family, short gray hair, leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Okay, wait, hold on. One, one more time. What was this? The investigation into all this involved in the desk. Okay. Okay, got it. I, okay, so these must be um, the victims? Oh, all the suspects. Suspects. Okay, got it. Suspects. Got it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sometimes, like, okay, I don't think I've ever, like, mentioned this before, but I have, like, really bad ADHD. Like, actually diagnosed ADHD. I'm not just like, oh, I'm so ADHD. Like, actual ADHD. Um, and uh, most of the time, I'm unmedicated just because I, like, it, me me medication is expensive. And so sometimes I read things and I, like, actually have no freaking idea what I read. This happens a lot. Uh -huh. Anyways, Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family. So if I miss anything, just, you know, let me know. Short gray hair, leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering some from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times, Jesus Christ. Reshi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of Clocky, exhibits a preference for the clock element in almost all aspects of life, okay. Connor, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short red hair, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure um, due to his unkempt appearance. All right. Uh, Doriani, a professor at also Paperfold Academy. Okay, short gray hair. Known among students for bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. Um, Pururu, a researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the research lab's trash can filled with empty drink cans. Okay. Um, Benny, dreamscape producer, Nightingale, Nightingale family, curly brown hair, frail thin, exhibiting an almost fanatical affection for dream construction. That one's interesting. Maureen, dream weaver from Nightingale family, short gray hair, standard stature for Pepeshi adults, possesses a collector's fetish, okay, particularly fond of mugs and jugs, okay. Sir Whitaker. Head of Nightingale family, short black hair, um, distinguished by his rare orange pupils, 
Pat, a renowned actor from the Iris family, short gray hair, featured in numerous classic films. I mean, a lot of them have gray hair, but other than that, I don't see any like common denominator or anybody that stands out. Um, for a distinctive thigh band, all right, uh, Borage, bro, Borage, lol, like Porridge, but with a B. Um, actor from Iris Family, short black hair, frequently cast in gangster-themed films, widely acclaimed for his performances in close quarters combat scenes, uh, Nader, Drinksmith from Iris Family, short- I'm not gonna read all of these, bro, I'm so sorry. Carrie, actress from Iris Family, Brendan, guard from Bloodhound Family, Carter, security officer from Bloodhound Family, Woolsey, captain of Bloodhound Guardians, Olomu, detective from Bloodhound Family, Karina, agent from Bloodhound Family, okay, then we have a bunch of Melanie, Alfalfa Family, Alfalfa Family, Alfalfa Family, Alfalfa Family, there are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's Note, perhaps there is a common thread among them, I have reached a conclusion, huh, interesting, so what have we got, we've got Alfalfa Family, Alfalfa Family, Bloodhound Family, Bloodhound Family, Blood, I mean, a lot of them have gray hair, Iris Family, Nightingale Family, they're all from a bunch of different families, I guess the only two that aren't from, like, a specific pa family are, like, the Paperfold Academy people, but everyone else is from, is, like, part of the family, but at the same time, I feel like it wouldn't be one of the Paperfold Academy people because it sounds like the suspect that we're looking for is probably part of the family, esteemed head of the Oak family. Interesting. So Sunday has Sunday has reached a conclusion. Uh, I have not. <laughs> Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. Mm. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. True. Huh? Wait. Oh, does Acheron have something for me? Yeah. What is it? No, nothing. Huh. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, speak. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? I wish Acheron would would let us enter her mind. You know, she she, she was. I feel like she was onto something. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. That's all for now. Whew. Nothing more noteworthy. Okay, cool. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. Mm. I did not expect an empty I mansion. I also was not expecting an empty mansion. I thought that maybe Sunday would be here. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh. I don't think trespassing <gasps> on forbidden areas is the way to be Speak a guest. Speak of the devil. And he um, shall appear. And wait, no, you're not supposed to be able to see me. I have the Acheron? thing going on. The Galaxy hey, Ranger. how do you know about that? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. Yep. I hope you can forgive us. Yeah, we and we snooped all around your area. I hope that's okay. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. No. Don't you agree? Nah. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. Well, not exactly. You know what's kind of interesting that I'm just now noticing that I never noticed before? These parts of his halo kind of look like the death meme, do they not? Like, they look like the eyes on the death meme. Fascinating. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. A hey, nice. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. I don't, don't, don't say it so loud. Don't say it so loud. While the truth <laughs> remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Okay. You know, I'm like, I really don't, I just, I don't know what to think, man. I'm like, is Sunday, is, is Sunday involved? Like, is Sunday the person who actually killed all these people? Or, like, somehow related to the death meme? Because, like, I'm looking at his outfit, man, and I'm just saying, like, these little eyeballs and stuff, like, they look a lot like the eyeballs on the death meme, I'm Let's just hope justice will prevail soon. Like, this one, too? I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? 
with all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before mm. the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Okay. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Okay, yeah, true. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. Uh, yeah, okay. But right now, <laughs> he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park mm. all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. Yeah, I am wondering. I feel like he's got to have something up his sleeve. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Uh, well, that's awfully foreboding. Okay. Thanks, I think. Maybe. Not really. Is Sunday behind it all, dude? Is is it like is it really obvious to everybody else? Is the writing on the wall and I'm just not seeing it? I just don't know. There's so much happening. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. Huh? The suspect has been arrested. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, hold on. Major breakthrough in the Ejhazio Aventurine case. Suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild. Huh, okay. Causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event Ooh, okay. who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Interesting. Is one of the survivors. I'm I'm curious. I wonder if they'll ever explore this a little bit more. Like, is Aventurine actually the sole survivor? Because when Sunday asked him about that, he said perhaps. So I don't know... Does he- I, I'm assuming he said perhaps because he himself doesn't know, but I am curious if there were any other survivors or if Aventurine is really the sole survivor. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in okay. the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Okay. Oh! Hello, who is- who is this? Oh my goodness, what a woman. Hubba hubba. And then here's Aventurine. And oh, that's so sad. He's got a freaking like chain around his neck. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Oh. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Based. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. I mean, yeah, why not, man? Not difficult, but definitely pointless. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess they probably wouldn't uh, take him seriously. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. Mm. All I did was offer a possibility. Mm -hmm. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Mm. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Ooh. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though... I like her voice. ...is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. Hmm. To be brought before you for the next... Oh. Scandal. 
It's all part of the plan. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. My life. I, I knew it. I knew he was going to say that. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. This ain't my first rodeo, okay? I know this type. This is this is like Lelouch from Code Geass, man. Yep. Bet my life. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Ooh. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> Don't we all, man? It can't be that It's simple, a rough economy. It? <laughs> it is that simple. 30 tonbas. Oh. The remainder of my market value. Okay. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Dang. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Dang, dude, I love Aventurine. I love him. Interesting. He's so interesting. He's such a fascinating character. I mean, she said it was interesting. Exactly. He's such a fascinating Pitty character. Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty Tonbas. I'll give you that, and much more. Okay, yo, let's go. Wealth. Status. Sick. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Hmm. Even what you don't want. Huh. Everything you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. Fascinating. A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. Hmm. You, though. You deserve to live. To create even more wealth. For us. Oh, I wonder if she chose his name, Aventurine. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Oh, choose your desired choose identity. Your okay. Desired identity. And then <laughs> use them well, child. And my guy went all out the second he was given the opportunity to pick clothes. He just picks like the most flamboyant clothing he could find. I love May it. May your plans never suffer failure. May your plans never suffer failure. Ooh, that's interesting because didn't like his mother or something also say like a similar line, like may your schemes never fail or something, something to that effect. Kind of mirroring that line. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. And okay, like okay, in some ways, what he's saying is not necessarily wrong, but it's it, it is sad because I feel like the reason he has mental this mentality is very much because like his whole life has kind of been a gamble. You know, it's like I have to make this decision, I have to choose this thing correctly, otherwise I'm gonna die. You know, like he's he's had to claw his way up from a, incredibly unlucky circumstances by by way of doing this by making the correct choices, making the correct gambles to get the correct outcome. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck. But luck has always been on my side. Mm-hmm. I've never lost. Yeah, and even when he was born, didn't his mother say something about like the rain, like the, like the rain was falling? Like he was sort of born more or less a lucky child, was he not? Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Mm. Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. <sighs> My success is inevitable. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I have a lot to say about that, actually, about, like, Aventurine being born lucky. I'll probably make, like, a whole separate video about it, because I find it really interesting, and I think there's, like, a lot of irony in it as well. But... What then? That's the question. <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? Hmm. What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Hmm. Will I encounter failure? These are the questions. Never to return. Mmm, dang. The VA did a great job there, man. You can hear, like, that little quiver in his voice. Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. 
My doppelganger? Hey. Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Maybe a little bit of both. I mean, technically we are dreaming because we're in Panicone and you probably have gone a little bit insane. So yeah, probably a little bit of both. Also, hey, what's better than one aventurine? Two aventurines. Perhaps both. Oh, yeah, oh my God. It's like, it's like, I'm him. It's like I'm him. Slap my knees and call me a Venturine. To be honest. To that electric chair by a mannequin warlords. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Mm. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. Not the first time we've met. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Huh. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveil. Ooh. You really think you can pull it off? Ho. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Dang. Also, when, like, okay, so Venturine has, like, whatever, the 17 system hours to, to live. Like, after that, is Sunday, like, is Sunday supposed to kill him, like, in the dream? Or, like, in reality? I didn't quite get that part. Like, what's, what, ex like, how, how exactly is he dying? Where is he dying? Is he dying in the real world? Is he dying here? And, like, do they really die when they die here? Like, because it, it because he tested it, so shouldn't he, like, not be concerned? Because didn't he test it, and he said that you can't really truly die? Like, didn't he just say you, like, go into a coma or something like that? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. Darn it, myself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Great. <laughs> Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. Uh, I don't know if I trust this adventuring. What exactly are you? Don't follow it. I don't trust it. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. Uh huh? And I am that outcome. What is that supposed to mean? Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. That's good. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Don't macabre! Oh, why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? God, you're so handsome. Okay, continuing. Continuing onward. Wait, snap. <laughs> I love that. That's so fun. Uh, my feet! Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. Did you see- do you guys see my feet sink into the concrete for a second there? Hello, small child. How are you? Talk to strange I child. Allowed in golden hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Hey, kiddo. <sighs> oh, that harmony juice is working its way through the brain. What's wrong, mister? <gasps> you don't look well. It's baby aventurine! <laughs> Oh, he's so small. <laughs> Your eyes. Oh, impossible. Baby. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Oh, he's so small, dude. Oh, look at him. I just want to, like, pat his head. Uh, mister. You have pretty eyes, too. Whoa! Beautiful. That's crazy. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? 
That's you, you dingus! They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. Oh, he's so small. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Goodbye! Have a good time, too! Bye, baby Aventurine! Those eyes... Die. Oh my Mama god! No, no, it... He's fast as... F, boy, did you just see the way he sprinted off like that? Left. Oh my god, he was like zooming. Oh my, hold on. Very important. I don't, I don't think I can zoom that fast, bro. Holy, that child. I've never seen someone run that fast in this game. Holy crap. <laughs> he just, noom, took him, Speedy Gonzales did it right, right up the pathway. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, no, you're so fast. You're fast. You're so fast. You're only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Can you leave me alone, okay? I'm trying to think. Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep? Well, yeah, and if the family truly shows leniency to everyone who came seeking help, then, like, how are, like, why would they be concerned about stowaways? Again, it's like the question Gallagher asked, like, when they first came here, were they not, in a sense, like, stowaways themselves, you know? However, people don't see it like that. When, like, the pioneers first Especially came to Penacone. the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Penacone. Hmm. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? Okay. <laughs> Not a likely fate. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Mm. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Mm. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Oh, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. <laughs> well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. <laughs> Dang, yo, this is like me having conversations with myself when I'm like demotivated. I'm like, listen, Suki, you just gotta do it. I know you don't want to go to work today, but you just gotta do it, okay? You just gotta go. And then I'm like, but I really don't want to. And then my other self is like, but you gotta, Suki. You just have to. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies. Calculations. Mm. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> well, okay, I'm also still confused about, like, okay, so with Ratio and Aventurine, like, did Ratio, did Ratio figure out that, like, Aventurine, okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to say what I'm like what I'm asking. Okay, so like did Aventurine know that Ratio was going to betray him? Like I wonder if that was a like if he factored that into his plans and or like is it possible that Ratio like just understood that Aventurine wanted him to betray him? Like I wonder if I wonder if Aventurine factored that into his plans, but if like Ratio also knew that Aventurine wanted him to do that and that's why he did it because there was like that exchange afterwards and Aventurine kind of was like, I'm surprised you'd show yourself. So it was almost like, it didn't sound like they'd planned it. But at the same time, I feel like Aventurine is so far ahead of the game. I don't know. I'm, I'm still like slightly confused about that. Cause at first I thought they maybe planned it. Like I thought that maybe it was a plan that Aventurine and Ratio had made, you know, for Ratio to betray, like quote unquote betray Aventurine. But then again, there was like that exchange where Aventurine was like, I'm surprised you'd show your face to me. So I don't know oh, about that part either, way, for sure. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Okay, yeah, so there was another trap you. So yeah, did Aventurine ex like. Did Aventurine want Ratio to betray him? And did Ratio know that Aventurine wanted Ratio to betray him? Or did Aventurine just count on the fact that Ratio would betray him? <sighs> My brain juices are all jumbled up. <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. Mm-hmm. You want so much. 
So afraid of losing. Ooh, I actually like the fact that he's kind of telling it like it is because ex it, exactly for all of Aventurine's um, outward bravado, I feel like this is exactly how he is uptight, overcautious. Like he's even said himself that he would never take a gamble if he thought he was going to lose. You know, he like he always wants the odds to be in his favor. Massive inferiori inferiority complex, I can see that. You've won so much and you're still so afraid of losing. And I mean, I think that's the nature and like the tragedy of Aventurine's character. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, mm -hmm. straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below yep. the table, clutching your chips for dear life. Because, uh, like, that's all he has, man. That's all he has, is 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 the chips. That's all he has is, is the luck, you know? Like, without that, it's like, he would have been doomed to the exact same fate as everybody else from Sigonia. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. Hmm. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself. Oh, I like this so much for his character. I like this so much for his character. And I, I love the way he put that. Like, outward, they see the straight flesh, but like under the table, you're, you're, you're clutching the chips for dear life. Well, the best way to Such a good, like, image. from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Mm. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? Huh. But you chose the IPC instead. Interesting. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? <laughs> We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. about to disappear here? Uh... Well, it's not going to be me. Anyway. Me, because bye, girl, b oh, nope, they're gone, never mind. Okay, anyways, um, hello. After the agony in stonier places, the shouts and the cries, prisons, palaces, reverberations. Oh, wait, hold on, did I read this first one right? Well, I guess now I'll never know. <laughs> Smack. Smack. Oh, oh, chest, 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 chest. You can't hide from me. Boom, okay. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This child is so fast, dude. Oh my god. He's got, like, the turbo rockets on or something. <laughs> got him. Oh. Ah, playing hide and seek. <laughs> He's so fast, dude. What the heck? <laughs> He's like freaking Sonic, man. All right, hold on. Let me cook. 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 Okay, here I here I come. Ready or not? Uh, I just realized that I need to change my team because ain't no way I have three freaking sustained characters on my team again. I'm not gonna be that person again. No, thank you. Uh, we don't need you. We do not need you. Can I have my? That's much better. Whew. Broken. <laughs> no way am I gonna be fighting <laughs> with three sustainers again. Okay. Um. Honestly, j bye. Actually, we don't really need to fight, do we? Nah. Nah, fam. I gotta catch up to this child. He is way too fast. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? Hmm. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those uh. shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. Aw, oh, man. You and Big Sis playing dead. Oh, man. In all that bloody water. Mm hmm. Completely ruined that shirt. Shame. Wasn't that the last Bro! 
on, don't hit me with that. This is like a triple whammy, dude. Like, first, they gotta play dead. Second, they gotta play dead in the bloody water. Third, the, the freaking shirt that he's wearing is getting freaking bloodied by the water, and it's the last one that their dad left. That's so sad. What the heck, man? Oh my god. Uh, ugh. It wasn't ruined. I've always, I've kept, always kept it. it. God, this is so sad. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever That's wear not it. the point, holographic adventuring. Shut up. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty arms mm. wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. Hmm. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That is so depressing. That child. Could he be in here? Like, oh my god, it was bad enough just with the having to play dead, and then it just like escalated and escalated and escalated. Let's grab that really quickly. Uh, let's find... Oh, uh, what does that say? He who was once living is now dead. We who were once lived are now dying. Um, child? Small child, where are you? Is this... Uh, oh, that's the topaz stone, right? Cornerstone. Topaz is cornerstone. A topaz. What is this doing here? Yeah, where? How did that get here? <laughs> that was with Sunday, wasn't it? What does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? So? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. Hmm. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is oh. nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipant's body. Mm. I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of love, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. Oh. If he were just a little bit smarter, oh. the chick would have been up right there. Oh? This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. Okay, okay. But was it planned? So it was planned? Like Ratio and Adventuring planned it? Okay. So that confirms it, right? That confirms that it was actually planned by Ratio and Adventuring. But then why was Adventuring like, I'm surprised you'd show up? Huh, okay. Or maybe he wasn't Or maybe he at wasn't all. acting at all. Okay, so I, okay, maybe it wasn't planned. Maybe Adventuring was just banking on Ratio Okay, that's interesting. It's th interesting that they seem to have kind of like two different perspectives on it. One adventuring says like, damn good acting. Other adventuring says, was it even acting? Makes me wonder if Ratio did indeed like, know that adventuring wanted him to betray him and then adventuring also like banked on Ratio betraying him, maybe? All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. He does seem a little off his rocker. He yeah. Detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. Okay. Let the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Okay. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it. Everyone's distracted enough for you to oh. steal the third stone. The Aventurine st Let's go! I knew there must have been a meeting when Aventurine was like, I've got three chips. We had the we had the Topaz stone, the uh, whatever the other stone was, and then the third one was the Aventurine stone. Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Yeah, well, I still don't really know what's up with this hologram. <laughs> Is he friend sure. or foe? Interesting. And I'm you. Like, are we just hallucinating because we're on the Harmony Juicer? The best way to 
prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. Mm. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. Mm. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Yeah, what is Rather that one? Beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Uh, is that one like, is it like, is it like, I'm trying to think what stones are green. Emeralds or jade, maybe? Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck mm. and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, okay. but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a... Oh! And that more precious gem is... Jade. Jade, okay. Yep. That's what I figured. I figured it was either emerald or jade. Emerald is, I feel like, usually kind of a darker green, so yeah, jade makes sense. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Oh, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine. Ooh. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Dang. Oh, you're even more united than the family. Yeah, real, dude. We are like in sync. As I've said before, over at the IPC. Yes. All oh, I knew that had a meaning. I knew that had a meaning, dude. I'm so glad he said that. I was, I was, I was really wondering if that was gonna have a meaning or if that was gonna come back in some way. But will Love it be it. the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Take it out. Let's have a look. Shouldn't you know where it is if you're me, though? <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where Yeah, it is. that's interesting. Curious there, buddy. I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. I do want to see what it looks like, As though. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. Ooh. They're right where they belong. Ooh, pretty. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Mmm. You smashed the adventuring stone before you left. Dang. Oh, just Can you do that? Head. Can you just do that to your stone? Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Ooh. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot? Yeah, I was gonna say, are we allowed to just smash our cornerstone like that? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Maybe we can put it back together like a puzzle. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly okay. diminished, but it's enough for me. I mean, we'll take it. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Again, says a lot about his character and the things that he's had to endure. And it's interesting because I feel like he's talked about before, like, he doesn't really tend to take risks if he, uh, if he doesn't think there's a good chance of him winning. But at the same time, like, at the same time, I feel like he is, like, willing to take risks to a certain extent. But I'm assuming he must have, like, still another thing up his sleeve where he thinks that he can win. Like, is the Aventurine Stone the only thing? Does he have something else up his sleeve? Like, I'm assuming he must think his chances of winning this gamble are good. If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards... I guess he does also have this mentality, I yeah. I you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. 
Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. Like, is the Aventurine Stone the trump card, or do we have another trump card? That is, if you can do what it takes. Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see then. Uh, by the way, where did our lost child go? Are uh, we still looking for the child? Gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Um, child. Uh -huh. Oh, child? There you are! There you are, Hello. baby Aventurine! We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Thanks! Yes. We meet again. <laughs> Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there, too. Aww. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. Oh, he's so precious! I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean film. I love a good flim. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall. That's thing. right, buddy. <laughs> they put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, Mister. Aww. You look sad. Aww. The amusement park will cheer you up. His childhood self can just inherently tell, huh? I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm coming, buddy. Oh, hamster ball night, fast and furry nuts, fury nuts. <laughs> Ready. Oh God, wait, what's happening? What am I doing? Uh, click the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash into a roadblock, you will trigger turbo dash and experience a short period of invulnerability. Energy can be accumulated by triggering Turbo Dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you will enter Nutty Blitz and experience a long period of invulnerability. Ain't nothing like Nutty Blitz, baby. Um, okay. I think I got it. The film's length is limited in movie mode. The progress bar below indicates the filming progress. Audience score will be accumulated by conducting Turbo Dash, picking up supplies, or slamming into opponents or obstacles while invulnerable. Trigger the events above as many times as you can to achieve the target audience score. Oh god. Oh. Oh, sick! This is pretty cool. Oh? Oh, I see, I see, I see now. Doom! 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 Nice! That was fun! <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay, cool. Sick. <laughs> How's that? Not bad, eh? Not score, eh? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm <sighs> Where'd he go? Boring. Huh? That was pretty fun. Um, let's not go that way. No, thank you. Uh, do we need to go this way? Ah, okay, yep, 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 this way. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Hmm. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. <laughs> Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before okay, you reach the Okay, if you say so. Our journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's grab that real quick. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, this thing? Start the pinball machine. Uh, okay. Activate. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that doesn't work? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. 
Nice. It's so tall. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. Here is no water, only rock. There are so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's for you. Rock and no water, only the sandy road. Uh, let's get this. Um, okay, this way. I think. Maybe. Can Suki navigate a maze? This is the real question. Possibly. Maybe, perhaps not. Oh, okay. A, a dead, dead end. end. Oh, man. Oh, is this the wrong way? Oh? Uh? Is this? Oh. Ooh. It's got nothing to do with you. Oh man. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. Oh. That man gave you your first job. You made your first particle. I remember it all too well. Oh. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze. Shut up. Oh, man. God, I feel so bad for him. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60. That's dollars. not true. That's not true. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Hmm. That's kind of insightful right there, too. Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless mm. sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. Interesting. I feel like, um, I wonder if, like, in, in his mind, taking all of these risks, like, justifies to himself that he's not weak. You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Mm. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. Hmm. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. I don't know if I really like holograph aventuring all that much, to be <laughs> honest. The techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? He's bullying aventuring. Holograph aventuring is kind of bully, what low key. What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? You assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. Mm. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? Perhaps. <laughs> Huh? That's cheating. A. Hey. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Were there water? We should stop and drink. Amongst the rock, one cannot stop or think. Okay. This way. Investigate a potato. <sighs> Oh, what's this one? Okay, yeah, I thought I was gonna say it was this on him when he was baby. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Because it's important to him. You obviously, could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. 
Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. Hmm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but mm. you actually regret it, don't you? Does he? I don't know if you he can does. Zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. Hmm. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Self-preservation, but like the thing is, yeah, he's a blessed child, but he's the luckiest of the unluckiest, you know? It's not that simple. It's not that easy. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Man, this is depressing. Disc. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Yeah, why are you slapping all of his tragedies into his face like this? Shut up! Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! <laughs> Bro, I love how the voice actor did that. And woo! You are nuts! <laughs> In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. The grandest <laughs> death. Okay. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's been a wild ride. From a masked fool yeah. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. I know. It's crazy. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Hmm. Death. But who's exactly? Yeah, when he says the grandest death, does he mean like himself? Or somebody else? Or like does he perhaps long for death in some ways? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? Oh, that's the question. That's the question, man. And it's such a good question. It is. Because again, He's the luckiest of the unluckiest, and that's a very heavy burden to bear in so many ways. <sighs> like, it's really not lucky at all when you think about it. Uh, anyways. So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? We'll talk more about that in probably like a separate video. Uh, feet deep in the sand. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, that's a lovely little chest that they placed right here for me. A dead mountain mouth of carious teeth. Finally made it out of this place. Damn, that was a crazy maze, dude. We just like wound up basically. Oh no, we did come onto the other side. Start the bubble pinball machine. Oh, oh boy, all right. Just out of curiosity, okay. Okay, yep. Can I click, can I click this one? Okay, whew. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay. Never mind. Maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Uh, maybe not that one. Maybe this one goes a certain 
direction. Uh, or maybe not. How about... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go here? Oh, there we go. I see, I see, I see. Okay, nice. Um, it's so fun here. But I red, sullen faces forever. sneer and snarl. But dry, sterile thunder without rain? If there were water... And no rock. If there were rock... And no water, but no water, yeah. Okay. Oh boy, it's morphin' time, boys! Okay, here I go. I'm I'm morphing it. Brother Hanu, where are you going? I'm going over here. Ah! Oh my god, holy crap. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Uh okay. Drop ammo after being defeated. If one round of ammo hits multiple enemies, more ammo is dropped at once. Okay, sick. Brother Hanu has no more ammo left. Ammo left. You can return to Hanu launcher's position to unlock. Okay, got it. Let's get it. Which button fires it? Oh. Do I have it now? Okay, it's a left click. Left click to fire. Way more than I was expecting it to do. That guy just got got. Uh, if you use the Hanu rocket to ignite the fireworks, it will trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and is even capable of destroying walls. Holy crap. That's crazy. Okay. Um, do I need to... Can I just teleport up here? Oh. Nice. Nice, but also not where we needed to go. I guess we need to... Maybe explode the wall? Oh, wait. Ooh, I think I need to turn back to normal. I think I get it, because I need to go up the stairs, don't I? All right. I see. Is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. We'll come back for the puzzle. <laughs> we'll come back for the puzzle. Finding finding baby adventuring is more important. Um, ah, hi. You really you. He's so small and cute. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling. Mm. It makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. Mm. We have to say goodbye. Aww. Did you have fun? Yeah. Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. You look so sad. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Aww. Mama, and Big Sis are. And what an eloquent answer. In this dream. Aww. Uh... This amusement park, this beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone oh, loves me. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Oh, he sounds so sad. Ugh. Where are they? Depressing. You do know, but there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> mm. Admit it. You're tired. I mean, who could blame him? Of course he's tired, man. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past. Hmm. And future. Hmm. If this really is future Venturine, then... I wonder if, like, I, maybe he becomes slightly more self-actualized? Because, I mean, this one seems to have, like, a slightly, um... Slightly 
better grasp on himself, I guess, on like the nuances of Aventurine than like present Aventurine. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. Hmm. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. Oh. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Hmm. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Dang. Always has been. Oh, that's 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 so interesting. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator. Hmm. The solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act. The final, the final sacrifice. sacrifice. I don't like that. What do they mean? I can do it. And it will be flawless. Mm. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, now. Uh. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. Hmm. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. Okay. Interesting. Slip the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. The IPC will earn a place at the table. So is he going to, like, fulfill his mission? And then, like, s sever ties with the IPC? Okay. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death, and its curtains will fall on another death. Okay. Oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no okay. matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me <laughs> <it> now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly <laughs> grow conscience? conscience? <laughs> Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug mm. is basically impossible. Okay. I can't stop you from doing what you want. Can't change where you want to go. I don't know if I like where we're going. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems mm -hmm. like it's on your side. You True. Will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Must it be you? Mm. If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love. Yeah. On the loss of dozens more. Mm -hmm. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyandra. If all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths. Yeah. Yeah. And what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Yeah. Hopefully. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. In the future. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. Oh, 
Ah, baby Aventurine. It's best to die without regrets. Okay, fair enough. I, I don't really want us to die, though. Please. <laughs> Honkai Star Rail, please. 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 I love him. And now... Only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? Oh. I want a memento. Oh my gosh, he's such sure. a precious little bean. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh. Maybe I should scroll back a bit so I get the full image in. Or at least most of the image. I gotta take a good picture for Buddy. For small baby buddy. Oh, what the heck? I Here I was scrolling out because I thought, okay, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's, it, it, whatever. Oh, nice. Now I can see what I look like too. Oh. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. <laughs> sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I like how in the background, too, you can kind of hear, like, thunderstorm sounds, you know, like the rain. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Oh, I'll take you to the stage. I don't know if I want to go on stage. I'm sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Get on stage, fear not, never I'm look back. A merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. Besides... My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome. I hope I can become as good as you when I grow up. Man. <laughs> of course Aww. you can. Gosh. You'll be better. And stronger. And stronger than me. Oh, just freaking rip my heart out of my chest, why don't you? All right. More time for Suki use brain time. Yes, sir. Nice. First try. Um, okay. Over planes, endless. Into cracked earths, stumbling. Do, 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 do. It's time for my grand performance. Ooh, here I go, baby. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. Oh. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thanks, buddy. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Uh, I'm nervous, too. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, oh. feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. Oh, he's so sweet. It's all right. I know how to do it. He's so sweet and thoughtful, little baby of a Oh my goodness. Of course I know. Oh. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins uh, are coming. Uh, Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. Mm. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, 
Aww. and also your birthday. They know the Avgen will surely hold a festival today. Aww. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that mm. descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the mm. Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. Oh man, this makes it even sadder that you hear like rain all the time. Like when we were going through the maze, like kind of this whole time we've been hearing like thunder and rain in the background. It makes it even worse. But Thanks for that, Honkai. People will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Mm -hmm. Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. Mm -hmm. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. Is it really even good fortune at that point? As long as you are alive, losing everybody. The blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. Mm. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Ah. May the Man. goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes, your schemes forever concealed. Forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Oh, oh man. Newsflash. He lost everybody, man. Broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, mm. which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were mm. under the protection of the IPC, resulting oh. in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. Man, this is the so sad! ...under the care of the frontline trauma team. Mm -hmm. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Ugh. Kakavasha? Jesus Christ, man. I came to Penacony Land of Dreams looking for hope and excitement and exhilaration. And what do I have, man? Depression. That's it. That's all I got. I just got depression. It's making me sad. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Ooh, I'm really nervous. I don't know if I like what this entails. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. <sighs> By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What do you want, Sunday? Jesus you Christ. 
Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Dang. Oh, such a fascinating character, man. I love Aventurine. I love him so much. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. I hope all you Aventurine haters out there feel bad now. I hope that you regret it. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Does she remember me? <laughs> Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Pleased to meet you, Miss Acheron. You can call me Clocky. Uh... <laughs> March's face. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, mm. it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. I mean, we could be close friends, too. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Mm. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. I don't even know if it was... I mean, yes, based on his own subjectivity, but I'm assuming that he accused her for a reason. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. Probably all part of his plans, you want whatever to those are. Create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. Mm -hmm. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's yeah. secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil. Uh, Aventurine's, yeah, he's like 10 steps ahead of all of us, to be in honest. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Mm. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Uh, but we must met out justice for the dead? Uh, maybe we should now get out of here while we still can. I am the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking <laughs> weird again. <laughs> but it's a good vibe. Thanks. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. Mm. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's Trailblazing? Without a little danger. And the night is long and full of terrors! Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Yeah. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? What you say? You coming with? You want to join the trailblazing squad? I will accompany you, of course. Yes! Let's, Let's go! Let's move out, then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. Mm. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. Well, we wouldn't want to miss that. Well, there you go, and there you have it. <laughs> Look. Perfect timing. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive? Won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? I mean, we can't leave the man hanging. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing the is hour upon us. Trailblazing. Trailblaze hours. Sybil, what do you want? Uh, Suki POV. I guess I'll talk to him. Oh, she's staring at me very intently. Wow. Uh, a little I have intimidating. A bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I am ready in the spirit of Trailblaze. I am ready. No time and head to the theme park, Let's then. get it. Squad. Mr. Yang. Huh? Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? 
It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Okay. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. Okay, I mean, fair enough, yeah. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. Okay, yeah, we, we trust Welt. We trust Father Giant Hands. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. We look so good. We look so good together. Good squad. Good squad position Thank poses. You. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. Hmm. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the <gasps> Astral Express... Hey, yo, let's go. I will stand with you. Bruh. Wait, guaranteed dub. If my meager strength is required. Your meager strength? Bro, are you trolling? <laughs> Alright. Uh, challenge. Challenge. Um, let's get, uh, you in here. Add, you know, maybe we'll you switch you out for Kafka. Past, yeah, do let's you, do that. Blade? Let's do that, just in case. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Yeah, interesting. Oh, that guy's really taking it so to we're a whole front new of level. Does he really think park. he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, oh. and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Fascinating. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Let's go. Let's get it. There we go. <laughs> All right, Suki, go get him. Ooh. That's me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Astral Express. You're late. And this unsung guest. Oh, we've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself. I'm so hype. Well. I'm so hype. <laughs> oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. I just want to see what he's going to do. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Stellaron. Woo woo. Uh, we're not here for any pageantry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murderer? Mom, <laughs> look, I'm on TV. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted uh -huh. murderer. Yeah. Oh, no, they do. Oh. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Oh. Uh -huh. Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. Oh. He is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham. True. Three homicides? Yeah, what does it mean, three homicides, though? That's, That's right, madam. A question. The third one is about to happen Whoa. right now, right here. Ugh. In Clock Studios theme park. Uh. A truly grand death. Mm. You. <laughs> you. You. And you. All of you are going uh -uh. to die. Mm. And I love you, Mr. Stellaron. Um. You will become the personification of death. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know about this. I'm not sure about this one, buddy. I ain't that powerful. You sure they're gonna? You're sure you're gonna survive this? What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't underestimate the preservation. The cornerstone of the Amber Lord will surely guide me. Um. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny, just, tiny just a little one. Just a little baby accident, you know. Bam! 
the entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. Oh, snap. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. Uh, 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 uh. Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. Oh boy. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter Whew. joke. Oh, it's about to get spicy. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just, just another, another gamble. gamble yep. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Mm. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. Oh. The golden sands. Yeah. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Mm. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Mm. Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. That's you and I one way of looking at it, I guess. For fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to- Oh, snap. Oh, God. <laughs> the dice are cast. And Ladies we got the Nightingale here. Ready to unveil your cards. Oh. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. Oh. I'm putting down the bet. Oh. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it fades in the wheel. I'm a dairy. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, but now I gotta fight him. Um, okay. Let's see who has the last laugh. So, okay, wait, he looks so sick though. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Relax. Um, ow! Um, please no, please don't hurt me, please, I beg you. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Time to say bye. Boom. Um, I am gonna fast forward it, speed it up though, because it feels so, so low, Lord. In Lunar Flame. Okay, um, this is looking pretty good for us so far, I think, I hope. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of defense, 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 defense. Oh yeah, nice dude, break him, break him, break him, break him. Um, I'm not, I guess I gotta smack these ones. Oh, snap. Ow. That's kind of rude. That is not very nice of you. I did not appreciate that very much, sir. Oh, nice. Good damage, though. Team is kind of slapping. Ow. It's okay, because Fushuan just heals herself. It's cool. It's cool. We're being chillin', baby. And we've got Locha if we really need, like, a, a little heal sauce. Okay, our field is still good. Stand still. We can also ult to heal. Give us a little, little, little baby heal. Nice. Nice. That's looking good. That's looking good right there. Ow. Okay. Um. Uh. Hey, yo, let's go. Let's go. Huge. We just went crazy. Later. 
Good times. Still Never time this. to say bye. Boom. Boom. I'll see you off. Relax. Relax. Receive divinity. Thank you. That's beautiful. You're too good today. I would appreciate it if you didn't do that to me. It would be really great. The field. Oh, nice. Good damage. Good damage. Good stuff. Good damage. Um, you know, ah, it's fine. Actually, we're chilling. Stand still. We're chilling because it's Fushwan's turn, so we're chilling, and she can ult, so we get a little bit of HP back. We're actually chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Nowhere to run. Smack him with this one. Okay. Well good, stuff. good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Looking good. Looking you good. chose the wrong enemy. Relax. A quick divination. Uh, hit him with that. Just a little auto. I see through you. Uh. Yeah! Let's go! I'm good at this! Uh, I I am lucky! I am lucky! Yes, sir! Stand still. Time to say bye. This is a really cool concept, though. I like that you get to, like, pick a die to see if you roll higher than him. That's, like, a really cool concept. Later, Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Nice. Get him. Get him. Say bye to breathing. Say bye to breathing. A quick divination. How you like them apples, eh? How you like them apples, eh? How about a little bit of this? How about a little bit of this sauce? How you like that? Yeah. Take that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, God. Okay, phase two, phase two, phase two. Keep throwing money on the table. The chance. Boom. Nice. The potential is what you hang on to. That Ow. justifies the gamble. Oh lord. Uh please, 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 six, 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 six. Yes! Say bye to Bro. I'm kinda good at this. Like low-key. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Okay, I'm I'm winning All big time event. now, right now, baby. I'm winning big time. In lunar flame. Easy. Easiest clap of my life to be uh wait, now it's now I just have to rely on Locho only. Oh no! Relax. It's horrible. Wait, oh um what if I just what if I just Good do this? Times. What if I just Never go crazy lost. right now and hit them all time at the same time? Body. What happens? Boom. Boom? Wait, how many times do I have to do this? When does it end? Five? Hey, we take those. Yo, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, um, bro. Can I have my turn, please? Oh my god. That was sick, though. That was a sick animation. In lunar flame. Up. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, God. We're back to the gambling stuff. I'm just going to do this real quick. And then I'm going to do this. Because then it'll hit all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy dub. Uh. Oof. Okay, but but check this out. Easy dub right Eternal here. Sleep is not Easy dub right here. Hell no yeah, one. let's go, dude. Blast him. <laughs> Good stuff, Jing Liu. Let's go. Amazing. We are on a winning streak. We're going crazy. <laughs> nice. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Never let's go. Time to say bye. <laughs> Oh. Alright, hit him with this and this. Hit him with everything we've got, baby. All things in this world. Creations. Let's settle this. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, team. 
Let's go team! We are doing it. We are doing it, baby. Bound. Good job. Good job, team! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Through you. Stand still. Nice. Okay, good stuff. I'll see you off. <laughs> Alright, thank you. That felt lovely. Feels good, man. Love it. Feels good, man. I love it. Um smack him with this one. Nice ability usage, everybody. Good job, team. You chose the Proud of you. Thank you. I love it. Feels great, man. Feels great. Eternal sleep. For your die. Beautiful. Uh, let's do like this. Incredible. Amazing. Um, we are just gonna slap that. But then check this out. Because now I'm gonna slap that and bada bing bada bang bada boom. Easy clappers, dude. Easy clappers, dude. How about this one? Five points. That's all right. It's all cool, man. Thank you. Thank you for the money. I appreciate it, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, can we get cleansed? Easy. Easy clap, dude. Who's the lucky one? Not you, Venturine. It's me, actually, as a matter of fact. Thank you. Boom. Okay, uh, we're about to dust this guy, to be honest. Boom. Huge damage. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're going crazy. We're going so crazy right now. Oh, oh she's back, baby. She's so back. She's so friggin' back. Doom. Two points. All right. Yeah. Another two points. We're getting there. How about this one? And what if I... Then I gotta... Okay, let's ult so that we get a good high roll. Nice. There we go. Only six. Kill them all. Well, heck, man. How? Let's let's go here. Nice. There it is. There it is, baby. Oh, they're gonna slap. He's gonna slap me again with his coins. Rude. Kind of rude. Don't appreciate that. But also, but also, she back. She back, baby. Tedious. Oh my god, he's almost dead. We're so close. We're so close. Alright. Let's end him. Stand still. Let's end him right here and now, baby. Okay. And boom. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. Why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that? Oh. Oh, let's go! Sick cutscene. Always hide your ace with a straight face. Oh, dude, his design is so I'm cool. To get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Uh -huh. Only by casting side reason does one truly. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's crazy. Holy crap. Emanator. I know you'll match my wager, right? Oh. Oh. You're leaving? It's also kind of interesting, actually, that um, Acheron and Aventurine both have this sort of like rain theme. <laughs> I might pass through the place you mentioned. Penacone, what do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. Hmm. They aren't in a dream. Oh. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors. And for she'll you. open them her G dang self. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Hmm. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. Huh, okay. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. 
Okay. Together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. Hmm. There are always those who rise from the shadows. <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? Hmm. You still have a strand of color. Hey, let's go. Huge. Much. We'll take it. <sighs> that is enough. We will take our strand of color. Before Thank you very much. They vanish completely. I will reach the Nihility's end. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I am so I'm ready. Oh my god, my body is ready. Oh. I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so sick. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh my god. Oh, that's so, so, so good. Oh my god. God, she is so badass, but also please don't hurt him. Please don't, please don't hurt him. Please, please. I beg. Oh my god, she's so holy lord. Oh my god. What a woman. Jesus Christ. That's crazy, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that is so sick, dude. That is so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, we're chilling, right? We're chilling, though, right? What is this place? Where are we? What's going on? Uh, a gigantic. Black are, we, are we like inside the nihility? Uh, have I? Have I succeeded? We're not dead, right? We're chilling, right? This is where we go on our own way. A walk among the tombs. Oh, I don't like that. I don't really know if I like the way that sounds. This low key looks like uh, like freaking purgatory or something, though. Welcome to the sad world. Oh, baby, of two baby Aventurine. Your good luck baby is most precious wealth we all Algen have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even as for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. Mm. Reunite with it's your a family. Pity this is not the place you were expecting. Huh? What do you mean reunite with your family? Melody, is it? Uh, Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. Huh, okay. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Huh. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my hmm. final destination? The land of the dead. The land of the dead. Fascinating. It's really cool that it's like a body of water. Because a couple of you have mentioned before that Acheron is like a river in Hades. Kind of cool that we have the water behind this us. This all but a fleeting dream. Oh. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Okay. Under the watchful eye of Nihility. We momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Moving on to our own paths? What does that mean, though? <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. No! No, 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 no! Or, or, Even no. if you wish for it, 
Even I oh. can't promise you anything. Okay. That's fine, yeah. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. Okay, but like He's not really dead though, right? Because I mean he died in the dream and he's already he ha has already explicitly stated that he tested this and that like his actual body would just be in a coma, right? So he's not dead. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that Dang. fooled almost everyone. All part of the plan, huh? No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking mm -hmm. your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Dang, so that was the end goal, huh? Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreams. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death oh. to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Oh! Okay. So this dream death, it seems like it basically takes us into a pocket of the dream that allows us to get like somewhere that's unreachable, uh, that's unreachable if we're not dead. Okay. They did mention that, like, didn't they say earlier that, like, the that death is linked to the Watchmaker's legacy? Is this is is this how you like get to the Watchmaker's legacy? Do you have to die in the dream? Pentecost. Interesting. The legacy of the Watchmaker. Y okay. The, the true land, land of, of exile. exile. Oh, yo, sick. But what's there? Like, what exactly is it? <sighs> This is sick, though. This is such a cool concept. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. Aww? It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? Ah! Uh. I see you're in the know. Uh. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. Ah! The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Okay. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. Okay. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. Okay. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous oh. ocean of the outside world. That barrier they built keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. Dang! In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... So all of this was just so that he could, he could, he could prove the existence of death in the dream. And also... I guess maybe get to that pocket of reality or, or that pocket of the dream that you can't get to by being alive in the dream. Damn. What a giga chad. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. <laughs> Let's go! Someone already has. Ooh. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, Ooh. but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> huh? I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Are Is he talking about Firefly? Hint. Is that not proof? Or is he talking about Robin? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing hmm. that can okay. prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear their intent on covering their tracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. 
Ah, uh, dang. All calculated. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky. Yeah. The fate has decided to let us cross paths. Lucky indeed, it seems. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. Hmm. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Oh? You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. Dang. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Mm. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Damn. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Hmm. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Oh? Detonating a Stellaron. I can't okay. do it. Okay. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. Mm. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. Thank goodness we unsheathed our blade. Whew. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Yo, let's go. I hope this means that we have not seen the last of Aventurine. Like, I hope that we'll get to see more of his POV as he ventures into the deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss mm. is another gamble of yours. I mean, if we're going to bet on anybody, I'd bet on him. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> mm. Of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Fair enough. Because other than that, uh, I have nothing. Aww, man, they just had to make it sad again, didn't they? Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Mm hmm. I agree with Acheron. It's not over yet. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, I never have. Nor do you. Mm hmm. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Hmm. Okay. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. <laughs> Why, then, do we struggle against it. A venturing out here asking the real questions. My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Hmm. Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. Fair, yep. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. Exactly. I think that's a good answer. Good answer. Yes, death is inevitable, but that does not mean that you cannot find meaning in your life. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Mmm, that's another good way of looking at it. Also, we have the red text again, but that's very interesting. The end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Death has different meaning than life. Take a good look at your pocket. 
Hmm. Your friend has already given you the answer. Huh? Good luck. Okay, bye. Thanks for killing us back there. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have the, the script from Dr. Ratio. Uh, the impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Aw, doctor's advice. Uh, it's not death, but rather dormancy. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> then I shall get going. Got a pr presumably long journey ahead of us. This, uh, this sea is looking vast. Oh, he's back! Mr. Baby Aventurine is back! You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape? Hmm... Yes. Because they are not here. Hmm... My papa, mama, and big sis. Hmm... Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. Hmm, okay, yeah. very, very distant place. So yeah, we're definitely not dead. We're definitely not dead dead. We're good. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. Yep, okay. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle. Thank goodness! I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. And know that it is time for me to go. And be reunited with my family. I am so happy that my boy is not dead. I would have been very upset. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. And honestly, I like this better for his, like, character. I, I like that he's not dead dead. I think it actually fits better. It's like, it's better development for him as a character, I think. Um, to continue walking on this path, even though it may be uh, very lonely, very uh, painful very difficult path preparing for what well preparing to face them kakamisha oh and to make them proud. i love him so much dude oh my goodness mm. and i love him so much too oh my gosh i know you'll be able to do it oh good luck i just i just want to pat his head man i just want to <laughs> pat his head of course, for I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. And I feel like this maybe is the beginning of him kind of looking at his luck and that blessing uh, in maybe like a slightly better light. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective shift. But you still seem nervous. <laughs> And it's so cool how, like, how they have him sort of, like, engulfed in light, you know? Giddy's like a blessed child. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I mm. am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Aww. Put our palms together. Are you going now? Yes. Aww. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping, keeping your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. And your, your schemes, schemes forever concealed. Aww. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Aww, man. Aww. And he gave him Farewell. his hat, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Aw, oh, man. That was really good. I really liked that thing. Um, with hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of two nights until the den uh, the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me. I have then embraced the quiet death. 
but this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, in every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude, his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests, one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it has last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone <gasps> has disappeared. Oh wait, dang! Wait, okay. Well, cause. So did Aventurine like sever his ties with the IPC then? Because he's not dead. Like he, like I mean, that's, I, th that seems all but confirmed from that entire exchange. He's not dead. Is it just because he's like died in the dream that the light has disappeared, or has he severed his ties with the IPC? Because didn't Acheron just say that her sword could like cut through the harmony juice going on in his brain and and the preservation? Or did I? I can't remember exactly what she said, but she said something about her blade like cutting through. Anyways, I don't know if he severed his ties with the IPC or if the uh, Aventurine Stone just stopped glowing or the light of the Aventurine Stone disappeared just because he is like, sort of in in like a death state in the dream. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise. Oh, wait, were they, did they all know? And got what he wanted. That he was gonna do this? Okay. I wonder if they think that he's like dead dead though. <laughs> As planned. Your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Okay. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Harvesting. Okay. Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. Yeah. Oh. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim... Okay. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. Okay. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Okay. Dang. Oh man, Aventurine's story was so good. I can't wait. I really hope we'll see him more. I'm assuming they can't just leave it like that, right? Like, I'm sure we have to explore that more sometime in the future. Uh, try to- You try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. Where is this what happened? And whose POV is this? Yeah, whose POV are we in again? <laughs> Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade and then crash. Um, the indescribable force severs the power of preservation. Okay, while time and space froze instantly, your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, um, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness. Okay, yep, so severs the power of preservation. So I'm assuming that just means that, um, much like Acheron was saying that she could, like, cut through the- didn't she say that? She's something about, like, cutting through the harmony. Uh, okay, so m much like she can cut through the harmony, I'm assuming she cut through the preservation so that severed Aventurine's ties with the Aventurine stone, right? So he, I guess he's just like not follow, like not tied to any path now, I guess. Until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. Uh, yes, I am Suki. I think someone saved me. Doesn't matter. I need to get out of here. I'm Suki. Nice to meet you. You're awake. Oh, huh? Sam. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. What, you wanna go, buddy? Uh, and you are. Just what's happening here, it's you. What have you done? I didn't uh. do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam. Yeah, I know all about Sauron you, buddy. Hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you okay but i encountered more roadblocks than expected interesting 11 times i've tried oh but ended in failure before i knew it this world and i became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script okay elio is right 
In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable, unforgettable gains. gains. Uh, okay. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Mm. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Mm -hmm -hmm. Most Kaf of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Just annihilates them with the fire fist, yeah. So, there is only one method that I use. Okay. Hi. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Firefly. What are you doing in there? Oh, that I am. I definitely didn't have that spoiled for me. Wow, what a shocker. Dang. Whoa. Firefly is Sam? No way. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> Labyrinth like corridors and halls. Traps everywhere. F you to the person the who spoiled that for me, must be a by the way. Paranoid. Oh, hey, Sunday. What's up? How's it going, buddy? You are so funny, Mr. Security ha -ha. Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Mm. Why? Did I hit her nerve? Sure seems like it did. Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Oh yeah, Sunday? Well, how do you explain this eyeball on your chest, huh? Explain <sighs> that, buddy. Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. Yeah, man, you can't just come at Gallagher like that. Freaking rude. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Tell him. To be honest, freaking tell him, man. Yeah. He looks very offended by that. Good. <laughs> you, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only mm -hmm. idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Tell him, tell him, tell him. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. And I'm assuming he knows all about that because we saw the Nightingale there. I wonder what he thinks of that, though. Does he, like, realize Aventurine's goal? I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants mm -hmm. see okay. everything. Yep. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but mm. no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Okay. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Okay. Because my target from the beginning huh? has always been you, Hound. E? The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you uh -huh. to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. The alfalfa guy? Isn't that right, my <gasps> brother? <laughs> what? <laughs> <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Wait a damn minute. Disguise? Here. You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes. Take a good look. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, my my brain. My brain. My brain can't handle any more of these twists and turns. Oh my god. Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. Eh? The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. <laughs> that odd scar. The mark of Wolsey. I... <sighs> and the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle... The bartending and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal uh? family members. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. He's, he's, 
he is all of the suspects? What, what, what does that mean, though? Like, is he... It, when they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each no of them way. and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Dude. Tell me I'm wrong. This is wild. Minion of the Enigmata? <laughs> 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 oh, Lord! You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. This is crazy. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This is crazy. This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Oh, that's this is wild. This is wild. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing the answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Oh, yo, this is actually, this right here is actually some of the insight that I was looking for. He sounds genuinely upset when he asks, why did you kill her? He sounds like, like distressed, which tells me a lot about how he, how, how much he actually probably does care about Robin. I wasn't really sure at first, but. Oh, <laughs> cutscene. Oh. <sighs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Uh, wait, did- wait! Uh, did Sunday just die? <laughs> what the fuck? Um... Wait, bro, I'm okay. I'm going through that last scene frame by frame after this. I'm going through that last scene frame by Welcome frame. To the interrestrial peace That's peace. crazy. Good evening, everyone. Did did Sunday just get got? Oh my god. And what? Why? How is Gallic? How is okay? Welcome I don't even. Oh my god. Okay. I don't. I, there's so I, so much just happened. I don't even know what to make of it. Okay. So um. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I don't even. Holy crap. I don't even know what to say. Okay. So uh, Aventurine is not dead, but he's going to I guess to the land of exile to the Watchmaker's legacy, and he is now doesn't have a path. I guess I think is what happened. Um. Ratio has the he has Dr. Ratio's medicine script thingy. Acheron uh, uh, very badass. Oh my god. And oh my god, did Sunday just die? <laughs> what the heck? I, <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. I like I like try really hard not to curse because YouTube doesn't like it, but like I <laughs> But say it! Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Did he just die? And Ga like, what? Like, what is Gallagher? Is he just some weird, like, like Frankenstein amalgamation of all of the suspects, or or are people just like seeing him at this scene and like thinking that's? Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Oh my god, this is crazy, dude. I don't even. I don't know what to make of any of this. This is so crazy. I can't wait to play more though. Oh my god, th that last cutscene was wild, dude. That last cutscene was wild. I'm also. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little. I'm. I'm like. I'm sad that I couldn't get the like full experience of the Firefly reveal. Um, because I. I think that that would have been pretty cool. I feel like if I hadn't been- I got spoiled on that, like, how did, I don't even know how- how people, like, knew this leak so early, but I got spoiled on that, like, before 2.0 2 even came out. Yeah, so, like, I've known for a long time, and I've just been trying to, like, every time somebody says it as a theory, I'm just like, oh, huh, interesting theory. <laughs> been trying to, like, not make it obvious that I know- but yeah, yeah, I- that's- that's- that's kind of a bummer that that one was spoiled for me. F you to the person who spoiled it for me. You're never coming back to my chat. I freaking banned you, you little mf'er. Um, anyways. 
I think that's all. This is crazy. I'm gonna need some time to process this. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed. I feel like there's probably some parts that I didn't understand. This was like such a dense story quest, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. And like, holy crap, that ending is so crazy. Like, I cannot even believe that. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Um, yeah, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Honkai Star Rail content. I cannot wait for more of the Penacony story. Like, I love Penacony so much, I don't want to leave. Um, and don't forget also to leave a comment down below with any thoughts that you would like to share with me. Um, really quickly, shout out to my channel members Justice Sai, Louis T, Jake's the Best Ever, Rune Joe Furry, Onslaught X, Snowball, Christian Oineza, Ruyi Moonlight, and Nico. Thank you all so, so much for being channel members and going above and beyond to support me. I really, really do appreciate it appreciate it and thank you everybody so much for watching i do hope that you enjoyed i will see you guys in the next one. Oh, also i guess i should mention because i know that some of you are curious like what the content plan is there is no content plan really uh it's just kind of like uh, life is really busy right now so i don't have any specific content plans it's just kind of like whatever whatever i'm interested in doing uh i'll do it when i have time <laughs> is the content plan um I do still want to do the Honkai Star Rail outfit tier list eventually. I don't know when the heck I'm going to have time to like finish editing it. There's so many more characters in the game than I thought there were when I like first started making that. So uh, yeah, that's going to take a while. Maybe we'll get it out eventually. Maybe not. We'll see. But anyways, thanks guys for coming along on the ride with me. I really do appreciate it. I don't know if next content is going to be Genshin or if it's going to be more Honkai stuff. I don't really know yet, but we will see. Uh, thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you next time. Siki, signing off. Bye.